So, welcome everybody to the Air Swiss Moto, and today we are gonna try and change the air filter, spark plugs, everything you need for a happy triumph. Also, we're gonna do the oil change and the filter, but that's all to come. Look at that, some Legos. I'm such a child. So, yeah, let's start this fucker. So, I had to take every single bit of plastic, all of these bolts, all of that crap, and it's only on this side. So we still have that side to go through, so that's gonna be fun. Just so that we can lift this fucker up and get to the freaking air filter in there, so... <coughs> What a freaking task. So, after all those bolts and having the tank where I usually sit, so this is what the underside of this fucker looks like, I have now full access to change everything. And what a freaking pain in the ass that was. Jeez. <laughs> So, welcome everybody to their Swiss Moto. I don't think I showed you yesterday, but I put the tank back on because it was like hanging on around here. So, this is all fixated now, everything is changed. Now I'm gonna go through the very tedious work of putting all of the plastics, all of these freaking bolts back on the bike because right now it looks a bit naked and there are more plastics there yeah, it's gonna be very interesting so i'm gonna put you back on a time lapse if you're lucky i put some songs on it if you're not then i'm sorry about that
two, look at that. It's all back together. All the plastics. All the poop that was in it. It's still dirty as fuck. Everything back. Now it just needs a good clean. So, yeah. Now, next job is gonna be changing the oil filter and the oil, so that's gonna be fun. So, welcome everybody. Another day, another update. So today we are gonna go ahead and do the oil change. All you need for that is both of these tools, one for the filter, one for the bolt down there. I did buy some new O-rings, just in case. And this fucker, but I don't think this one is gonna fit because it's a different bolt that's in there, so I can use it for the other bikes. As for the oil, I have more than enough two jugs of it and the filter, so it's all gonna go alright. video this is the new filter a couple of things to think about is when you open it to check firstly and I know this sounds stupid but I've seen it all there is a plastic there take it off that seems to be self-explanatory enough but you never know so as you can see there was plastic secondly check to see if there is a rubber o-ring on it should always be but check and check on the old one if it's on it or if it stayed behind if it stayed behind just take it off and most importantly I always do that it is already a bit but just take a little finger take a bit of oil and just put a bit of oil around it just so just a little bit not all too much that's it let's put this fucker back So that's done now, uh, filter is changed, bolt is back in, always think about the little plastic foil, think about the little rubber o-ring and don't forget to put oil back in it, that's gonna be my next step, but before I do that I'm gonna clean it up a bit and then do that. So there is a level here that you can look into see how much oil there is in the bike and right now there is none so next thing we're gonna do is fill it up this bike is roughly 3.6 liters of oil for an oil change and that's pretty much what's inside of this bad boy so let's fill it up keep an eye on this fucker and let's see how it goes
so it's filled as you can see on the level I don't know if you can even see that or not but there's the line right there you can see like the back of, of it the front the dark bit it's all the oil that went in it now now I'm gonna turn on the bike let it cycle through a bit uh, then turn it on and see how far down it comes because it will probably need to be filled again so what I usually do I turn it on you can hear all the pumps going turn it off again turn it on again you can hear the pumps going again turn it off again there is a child outside being killed, I'm sorry about that. And turn it on again, that should be good. And now let's try and turn the bike on and see how it works. Maybe you can see already a difference in the oil. Nope, it's still in the same place, so let's try it on. Maybe put you back here for that. Because tripod life. I had it on now for roughly two and a half, three minutes. Now I'm gonna sit here and watch the level come back up and see how much it is in it. Maybe it's perfect, maybe I still have to fill it up, so let's see how it goes. So the level is now good, it's more on the max side of things than anything else, which is good for me because this bike is a bit older, so it's bound to eat a bit of oil, so I'll let it slide. So only thing left to do is put it back on its place, put the plate back on underneath it, and that's it. That's one serviced up Triumph Tiger. Another thing I did was I bought one of these, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little foot for your stand. So when you put it down, it's like it has a bigger surface, so it doesn't you don't run the risk of it like sinking in the grass as much or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty much ready for the season. So I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna put everything back in its place, tidy up the garage, have a beer. And with that being said, just try it out on your own. It's not that difficult, you just need a filter, some oil. I did a video on my Instagram saying the couple of things that you need for it. It's really not that much. And as you've seen, like the tools I use are like simple tools that most people have at home, so I'm pretty sure you won't have much of a difficulty taking those bolts out so yeah check for leaks check that everything is back together how it's supposed to be and just try it out because it's easier than you might think and with that being said just stay safe ride safe and buckle up buttercup because it's gonna be a wild ride